Ahoy, all of you flick freaks out there. What is going on? My name is Andrew, and we are here with another trailer reaction. Technically, today we're going to be watching gameplay footage. They just released Final Fantasy VII Remake gameplay footage at PlayStation X. So PSX is going on right now. We talked about it on the podcast earlier, and we made some predictions. And I think Michael actually predicted that they would show some gameplay footage for Final Fantasy VII, so he was absolutely right. We are going to jump right into this gameplay footage and see what they have for us. So here we go. I still don't see why we brought a Shinra soldier along. No way he'd throw all that away for us. What's his name anyway? Cloud Strife. And he says it's former soldier. Look, heavy security like this, you want a professional. That lip syncing though. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Paying you more than a few gear. Bear it. Best be worth it. Look, I don't care about your politics. Whoa, it looks good. That looks real good. Wedge sounds fucking weird. <laughs> Get back here! <laughs> Yo! That's like a... Uh, is that like Kingdom Hearts combat system? I like it. There's gonna be some people out there that are pissed it's not turn-based, but... I think this is just gonna lend itself better to this kind of art style. Back then, they had to do turn-based system. Okay, let's move. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> Okay, so there's a couple things to talk about in this trailer. Pros and cons, actually. We'll start off with the cons, just to get those out of the way, and then we'll go into the pros. First off, the lip-syncing was really bad. I know it's originally made for Japanese, and then it's converted over into English, but it could be done just a little bit better. So along the same lines of a con, the voice acting, from what I heard, is not all the best. Especially Wedge, that voice was just... I, ugh, I don't like that at all. They need to, if they're going to do this, they need to get some really good voice actors for this because so far I'm not impressed by that. But now let's get into the pros because I really do like, I think they're using the Kingdom Hearts system for this. The camera style on this, I'm a huge fan of how it's not going to be the set cameras whenever you go into different areas like you were in the original Final Fantasy VII. This one is going to be sort of like a back over the shoulder sort of thing, which I'm really excited about. And they're changing the new battle system, which I also think they're taking from Kingdom Hearts. Um, I could be wrong on that, don't quote me, but it looks like it's going to be a fresh take on something that Final Fantasy VII, I know a lot of people were are going to be upset that the uh, turn-based battle system is no longer in place, but you know what? I was thinking about this earlier. Whenever I'm playing this game, because I'm going to be buying it day one, it's going to happen. So, do I want to play the exact same game, just an HD remaster, or do I want to have a brand new experience in this world? And every now and then I'll see something that I recognize from my childhood. I'll be going along, oh my god, I remember that area over there is whenever I found my first Chocobo. Or... Over here, that's the uh, the uh, the Chocobo racing area, or where the first time I ran into Weapon, or Red 13, or all these amazing parts. I'm just going to see an HD remaster, but at the same time, I'm going to be having this whole new experience because of the battle system, the way everything's shot, the way that I get to fully see these characters rendered how, whenever they were making this game originally, how they were imagined, but, you know, graphics at the time wouldn't allow them to be 
designed that way. Now I get to see in their minds how these characters were supposed to be. And I know we kind of got a look at these characters HG remade for uh, Final Fantasy, uh, not, what's that fucking movie called? Uh, Final Fantasy Advent Children, sorry. Had a brain fart there. Um, yeah, which was beautiful. Actually, I think Advent Children looked a little bit better than this did. And I know that this is just early rendering of graphics and stuff. The graphics could be just a little bit better, just a little bit, just tiniest fraction of better. And I know that's it, shitty of me to say that a game needs to look better, but the reason why I say that, and I don't say that about a lot of games, and the reason why I say it about this game is because the graphics at the time weren't able to render, like I said, what the original designers had in their minds. So I think in honor of those people, they should go all out. And also for the fact that Final Fantasy VII is heralded as one of the greatest games of all time. So if you're going to remake this game, you need to put every dollar you have. Even if you lose money in the end, you do it as an homage and honor to the people who made the game originally. So you make this the best game you possibly can. Don't make this a game that you will make money off of. And I know that sounds silly for a business, but this actually transcends beyond that, I personally believe. And I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I personally believe you should put everything into making this the greatest game of all time, even if you don't end up making as much money because it stands for more than money. So let me know in the comments what you guys think, if you agree with anything I said, or if you disagree with anything I said. I would really like to hear from everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button down there. And if you check up in the top right corner, you're going to see a little card icon. One of those will take you over to the Flick Freak store. If you need t-shirts, coffee mugs, phone or tablet cases, we have it all over there. And if you buy anything between now and December 7th, if you use the promo code Mary15, M-E-R-R-Y-1-5, no spaces, then you will get 15% off in the store and your pro and your uh, purchase should arrive at your place before the holidays. And the last thing I mention, we have a Patreon campaign. Every dollar put in that campaign gets put directly back into this channel to make it better because we're all going to make the channel better together. So head over to the Game Geeks channel, watch us play Fallout 4, head over to the store, support us on Patreon. Don't forget, we are trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We are very close to doing it. Help us push it and just make that a reality for us. We would really appreciate it. Listen to the podcast, all that other great stuff. We will catch you in the next video. Until next time, Godspeed to 10,000 subscribers. Yo, my name is Cliff Safredi. We're from bankbus.com. We specialize in porn pop-ups, pop-ups, malware, spyware, adware, and the like. If you have Bonsai Buddy on your computer, you can thank us, baby, and this video is over.